about a time when you were scared. Maybe, like most of us, you had nightmares or saw monsters in the shadows. When you run to your parents or turn on the light, those things don't seem as scary. When we are close to someone you know you can trust to protect you, it's easier to overcome fear. It took some time for the Israelites to get to the land God had promised them, the land he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but they finally arrived. No one had seen the land. All of these people were born in Egypt. They didn't know what it looked like. God told Moses to have one man from each tribe, each of the 12 tribes, to go together in the land and spy out if the land was good and if there are any enemies, and how strong they might be. The spies took their time. They traveled for 40 days through the area, looking at how the land was and how the enemies were fortified. They found it was beautiful, full of figs and pomegranates and grapes. They called it a land flowing with milk and honey. They brought some of the grapes back to share with everyone. However, they also had a lot of time to examine the enemy, and they were strong. Let's look at their report. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. All the spies agreed the land was very good with plenty of bountiful food, but they also agreed the enemies were strong. The comparison the Israelites used that they were as small as grasshoppers to these giants is a little exaggerated. Goliath was described as seven to nine feet tall, depending on how tall a cubit would have been. Sometimes our fear can make an exaggeration of what we see, making things seem bigger and scarier than they really are. Ten of the spies said these walled cities and giants were too much to conquer, and it would be better to turn back and go to Egypt. Two of the spies, Joshua and Caleb, remained firm and faithful. They stayed strong that God could beat these enemies. God would give them the land as he promised. The Israelites favored the report of the ten spies more than the two, and they rejected God's plan to go into the promised land. This defiance of God's will was an act of sin, and God would give them the consequences of their choices. God wanted to bless his people. He wanted them to enjoy this beautiful land. Because they gave in to fear, he could not. Instead, they were doomed to wander the wilderness for 40 years until everyone who rejected God would pass away and a new generation could enter the land. Fear can be a good thing, but too much fear can hurt us more than help us. These Israelites feared the giants in the land more than they had faith in God. After everything they had seen, all of God's miracles in Egypt and in the desert, they still rejected him. Sometimes we will have to face scary things, but God will never lead us into anything that takes us farther from him. Nothing will separate us from God. Whatever we face, he is always with us. Whenever you see something scary, close your eyes and remember God is with you. Pray and tell him about your fears. Ask him to give you strength and courage. And remember what God has told us in his word. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Wherever we are, whatever we face, God still loves us, and nothing can take that away from us. Mm -hmm.